Hi there, this is Srikanth Asari. So, in this lesson, we are going to learn about uh, the logical operators in C++. Uh, the logical operators uh, work in the same way uh, in any programming language like uh, C, uh, Java or PHP, uh, any uh, programming language uh, in the world. Uh, this logical operators work the same way uh, as it does in C++. Okay. The sole purpose of logical operators uh, is that uh, when you want to uh, combine uh, or group together uh, various expressions uh, uh, like uh, relational, ex relational uh, expressions or arithmetic expressions, so uh, in the most cases you use uh, uh, two or more uh, relational, uh, relational expressions, uh, the expressions which were built using the relational operators. Uh, can be combined together uh, into a one single expression uh, using the logical operators. Okay, so first let me launch the IDE. So we know that we are using a Visual Studio uh, 2012 Express for Windows desktop, uh, which is one of the latest version from Microsoft. Okay, so first let me create a new project here. So file new project, and I am naming my project as let's say logical operators. Okay. So I'm naming uh, naming my file as uh, logical operators dot cpp. Okay. So Visual Studio uh, gives us a blank template dot uh, cpp file. Uh, so first let me add the, all the basic stuff here. So header files like hash include I was and hash include uh, .h. So all the basic stuff. Okay. So let me add the main also. So according to the C++ C99 standard. Uh, so uh, main uh, is the default written type for uh, uh, main function. And also let me add the get ch function to make the output constant here. Okay. So to demonstrate uh, the use of uh, logical operators, to demonstrate the use of logical operators, uh, first let us uh, see, uh, write in a comment, what are the various logical operators uh, that C++ provides us. The first one is logical AND, and uh, the second one is logical OR, and the third one is uh, NOT, logical NOT here, okay. So AND, uh, the first one is uh, logical AND, so first again let, let's take a different comment for that. So this is uh, logical and uh, the expression is evaluated uh, to true if only the either of the conditions are uh, true here. Okay, so let's uh, look into the uh, when we are study on the example, uh, we'll understand more uh, in a better way there. Okay, so next one is logical or here. So the next one is uh, logical or. Okay, it's so logical or operator. The this is. Uh, this becomes uh, uh, when both evaluated to false, uh, then it becomes false. Uh, the rest of all cases, the expression is evaluated as true. Okay. So next one, uh, the last one is uh, logical not here. Okay. So logical not uh, is that uh, it, it obtains the negation of whatever the expression. If you want to uh, change or invert uh, the result of your expression uh, to if it's true. You can make it as false using this logical not operator. Okay, it's logical, logical not, logical not. Here. Okay. So next, uh, let's take uh, four variables here. Uh, let's say I have one. Let's take four different variables uh, to demonstrate the use of this logical uh, operator. So I have two, I have three, int I have three, and int I have four. Here. Okay. So for this time, let's grab the input from the uh, user. Uh, as for the previous examples, we are just uh, assigning the values. Uh, let's say uh, directly um, see out, uh, enter the values. Let's say something like this. So enter the values. So for I have one, comma I have two. Directly I'm writing in a single statement here. I have one, I have two, I have three, and I have Okay, so let me close this expression and check the C out statement here. Okay, C in statement. 
So it's showing it's an error because uh, we haven't used this uh, using namespace yesterday, so which is quite essential. Using namespace, using namespace yesterday here. Okay. So now let's take the scene statement and uh, add all these variables. I wear one, and I wear two, and I wear three, and I wear four. Here. Okay. So I just haven't done anything excited here. Just taken four variables and I'm just grabbing the input and storing four different values in all these uh, uh, variables here. Okay. So let's take another uh, bool also to handle the uh, result okay, of this expression as we have done in the previous examples. So let's run the program until this point here. So it's just in the output uh, window. <coughs> so let's increase the font size a bit here. Let's go to the font consoles and 36 okay so it just asks for four different values and you can give all of them and nothing ha nothing much exciting happens here okay so now using our uh, uh, we can build a logical expression here so I'm taking the boolean variable on the left hand side and we can build a logical expression by using our logical operators let's we can say something like this so I were one uh, greater than I were two using our relational operator uh, greater than symbol and I'm saying here uh, logical and and I were three sorry I were three less than I were four okay so here we have built a logical expression using our logical operator and here okay so if you consider this expression here uh, based on the uh, values uh, given uh, in our uh, so let's have an CO statement. So just to print out whatever the values we have taken here, say slash and slash t. So all these format specifiers are just for better understanding purpose here. Again, let's say slash and slash t here. Okay. Slash and slash t. Okay. Uh, so we can say something like this. Um, and let's uh, output all the values here. So I wear one, I wear two, I wear three, and I wear four. Here. Okay. So whatever the values we have taken, I am just outputting it. Uh, just to uh, and also I am uh, <coughs> adding some space between each and every uh, variable uh, value that is being outputted to the screen here. Okay. So now, uh, so let's write another CO statement, uh, boolean, okay, so we run this application, uh, first it asks for uh, the values for all the variables, like I were 1, 2, 3, 4, well, let's give 3, 4 and 5, 7 here, okay, so it's just outputting the values, so let's have one more message here, the values of variables, Quite a bit confusing uh, the output if you don't give all these messages here okay so for this boolean also let's take another uh, set of, uh, of format specifiers like slash and slash t now we run the application until now let's give some values okay so here the values stored in i were one two three uh, and four or one two three and four so according to the uh, the logical expression that you have built here so it says that uh, if i were one is greater than i were two so that is uh, true in our that is false in our case okay so it's false okay and i also uh, i were three is less than i were four here okay so the value of i were three is uh, uh, three according to the value we have given here the value of i were three is uh, uh, three and the value of i were four is four here okay so since uh, that is true uh, this even though uh, either of the one is true uh, that is not enough in the case of uh, uh, logically and operator here. Okay, so if you want to evaluate uh, that that result to be true, uh, the both the expressions needed to be evaluated as true here. Okay, so if you give uh, another set of uh, for that reason, uh, since this has evaluated as uh, a negative result, ne negative result here. Okay, since the value of the left hand expression is false, and the value of the right hand expression is true that does not mean that uh, it should evaluate should evaluate uh, true value here. okay so 
So for that reason, uh, here you are getting uh, the result of uh, result of your logical expression as uh, zero here. Okay. So if you give uh, different set of values, if you run your application once again by hitting F5, and if you give uh, like based on your expression, uh, either one greater than either two, let's give three to one, and four and five. So now if you check your expression here, the first set of values, uh, either one is greater than either two, okay and uh, i wear uh, uh, 3 which is 4 and it's less than it's always less than i wear 5 so this should evaluate since both the uh, rational expressions on the left hand and right hand side of your logical operate logical and are true this should evaluate the result as 1 here okay so for that reason uh, your expression is evaluated uh, as 1 and it's, it's shown here and it has uh, uh, shown as 1 here okay so in the same way, uh, if you uh, take out uh, the same expression and you give your uh, logical or symbol here, okay, logical or here, okay, and again if you take out uh, the boolean expression, so let's make the output uh, somewhat uh, somewhat clear. Let's give uh, system uh, CLS, okay. System CLS is the application or the function which is used to clear the screen, and let's uh, <coughs> and let's be more precise here. Uh, instead of saying directly like this, uh, let's say so. I where one uh, is equal to like this for each and every thing. Let's say like this. I where uh, two is equal to. Let's keep some spaces. And let's say I where is equal to okay let's go to full screen and let's say i have four is equal to, i have four is equal to okay so now uh, so here we have taken another expression using the uh, logical or operator here and uh, so here uh, if you observe the both of them are uh, uh, true uh, if both are false uh, then that case uh, the logical or uh, will evaluate the result as false okay the rest of all cases it will be true so here uh, since the both are true again it should yield the result as one for you for us here okay so if you give uh, the same set of values or else uh, if you give uh, let's make it both as false here so one will never be greater than two uh, one will never be greater than two and five will never be less than four so now uh, since both are uh, false here <coughs> since both are false uh, the logical uh, the, the output of this uh, logical or uh, also uh, evaluated as false here okay the condition here is uh, if both are false uh, it will evaluate as false okay so to be more specific let's say the result here as uh, logical logical uh, logical or here okay so, okay <laughs> i'm giving it them just before the <laughs> those carries written values uh, logical or okay so logical or is equal to so and also let's say this as logical and so logical and so let's be more specific let's use caps here <coughs> so here okay so logical or here okay so run this explication and if you give uh, different set of values, uh, let's make uh, either of one as uh, true, four is less than five. So now the logical or will evaluate as one here. Okay. So it only evaluates to false when both the conditions are false here. So if either of either of the one is true, it will evaluate as true. Okay. So that the last one is the logical not here. Okay. So the logical not, as we have studied very briefly. And it has the property to change or to negate or to invert uh, whatever the expression uh, whatever the expression you are building uh, if your expression should evaluate true and if you add your uh, logical not operator at the very beginning of your expression it could evaluate uh, to false here okay so in the previous example let's take this uh, same example once again um, let's take it and copy it and paste it here once again and let's also place this uh, cout statement just to take uh, the result here so let's say uh, logical not okay so now if you add uh, your uh, uh, negation or your logical not symbol at the very beginning here okay 
So if you observe in your third example here, uh, <coughs> okay, let's have some comments also. So let's say uh, logical and expression, expression for logical and say expression uh, using a logical and operator and let's say expression using let's have a comment. It's always a good habit uh, to have comments expression uh, using a logical or operator and here in the last one expression uh, using logical not okay so here in the previous example uh, you our expression has evaluated to true since either of one is true uh, that's the property of logical or so since we have used this logical not all of a sudden uh, our expression will evaluate to false that means the it will yield the result as zero so if you run your application if you give uh, the same set of values once again so if you observe uh, we have just negated or we have inverted the output of the previous logical or which is one uh, to not here okay but just by adding this uh, logical not symbol here okay so in this way uh, the logical operators uh, can be used or uh, used to manipulate uh, the results of our expressions okay so these are very very useful uh, when we are going to study about the conditional statements in a few lessons okay so once we complete uh, with this expressions and operators we'll just move directly to the conditional statements so there these kind of logical operators are very necessary to take uh, uh, to write uh, conditions in our program whether whether it's true do this kind of logic whether it's false execute that kind of logic okay so they are more useful uh, in that uh, scenario okay so this is the basic stuff about uh, uh, logical operators in uh, uh, C++. So see you in the next lesson. Goodbye.